we'll learn how to apply four different vert kicks to four unique twist elements, creating at least 16 variations. Basic hyper kicks on the vertical axis are the pretext for understanding hyper kick variations on the horizontal axis. They are defined in four categories, so every 90 degrees is something different. So this becomes very important once we make that change, because the kicks themselves aren't important without understanding how we got to them. Those will be translated to become separate invert tricks in the next section. We have one last thing we want to do before we get there. Notice the dynamics there about kick and land on the kicking leg feel very different to the other four basics we just tried, because none of those have that property. And that means the last two techniques we can learn here in the first section are going to be just the standard round and hook, but with conversion to the horizontal axis. So this is the very first time we add inversion. And what I like to do is in order, land first, kick second, to make sure I can hold the landing. And that helps you find the appropriate positions from which to connect your inversion, which is a slant gainer, categorically backside takeoff, horizontal rotation, to the hook variation that we want to include upon landing for kick the moon. While you are training these, variations are a game of exaggeration. Don't begin by emphasizing the variation, begin by emphasizing the control and the consistency of your landing. If you can land consistently and safely, you can increase the quality of your execution anytime. If you go the other way around and you start with a face plant, I can't guarantee it'll work. Work on your transitions and your variations together to become more proficient and overall a more well-rounded tricking athlete.